news from Elon Musk, an amphibious robot dog, a drone powered by an ion engine, and other high-tech news. Elon Musk announced the creation of a compact version of the Tesla for the European market. It turns out that the Gigafactory Tesla built near Berlin is not just a production, but also an engineering and design center that will produce the company's new car. Elon Musk says he wants to give the European talent the opportunity not to adapt what has been developed for Americans, but to create something new with a distinctive design. The range of the Tesla semi-truck will reach 1,000 kilometers or 621 miles, according to Musk, who spoke about it in a recent interview. Tesla Semi will be equipped with a new battery with an energy density of about 300 watt-hours per kilogram. Two versions of the truck with a payload of 36 tons are ready for mass production with a range of 480 and 800 kilometers or 300 miles and 497 miles, carrying a price tag of $150,000 and $180,000 respectively. However, over time, the company plans to extend this to 621 miles. The Tesla semi-electric truck has already been seen on U.S. roads. For example, in the summer, prototypes of the truck were hooked up to deliver Tesla Model 3s to customers. SpaceX set a new record for the seventh time by launching and returning the same first stage of Falcon 9 rocket. Interestingly, the previous launch of this stage in August was the 100th anniversary launch for the Falcon 9 rockets. Elon Musk is going to extend the beta testing of the Starlink satellite internet to high-speed trains and planes. SpaceX has already applied to the U.S. Federal Communications Commission with a request to allow the use of Starlink terminals on Gulfstream business class aircrafts. The company also filed a similar application to test Starlink on ships owned by SpaceX, which are used to land reusable rockets. XDI Aircraft has unveiled the fastest cargo diesel electric vertical takeoff and landing drone with a range of up to 370 kilometers. The American startup has long been working on the TriFan 600 electric passenger vehicle, but due to technical difficulties of bureaucratic obstacles in certifying such a vehicle, the company temporarily decided to switch to a cargo version to launch the product on the market. XTI also abandoned the all-electric engine in order to increase the drone's range and payload capacity. The cargo version of the TriFan will be able to carry 227 kilograms for a distance of up to 370 kilometers. The speed of this vehicle has not yet been specified. Israeli company Percepto, which developed drones for monitoring and analyzing industrial facilities, has launched an autonomous control and monitoring platform consisting of a bundle of Sparrow drone and Boston Dynamics ground-based four-legged robot Spot. Spot carries Percepto high-resolution imaging and thermal imaging equipment. It can detect various anomalies around a facility, including hotspots on machinery or electrical wires, water and steam leaks, and equipment with degraded performance. The data is transmitted back to the operators. In just five months, the sale began. Boston Dynamics has sold more than 400 robots and generated more than 30 million in revenue. But Hyundai's acquisition of Boston Dynamics but before Boston Dynamics formed a similar partnership with Trimble to expand the use of its robots in the construction industry. The deal gave Trimble exclusive rights to sell and support Spot with built-in scanning, total station, and GNSS technologies for the construction market. Antibiotics, which also markets its four-legged robot animal, showed an incredible video of amphibious robot dog calmly coming out of the water and diving back in. Animal can carry weights of 10 kilograms or 22 pounds, and the robot LiDAR and depth cameras for navigation assist in its travels. It maps the space around it in real time and can move on flat and sloping surfaces at speeds of about one meter per second. Ghost Robotics, whose robots already patrolled a military base in Florida, is intrigued by reports that its robots aren't just being used there. The company took a photo of its robot against a snowy landscape without specifying the location of the new test. Ghost Robotics also announced the release of its new Vision 60 V5 QUGV robot from the lab, the features of which have not yet been disclosed. ABB unveiled a compact interior paint station designed to minimize space, cost, and environmental impact. 
The new compact interior paint station combines 12 robots and takes up to 33% less space than standard units. The compact interior paint system is suitable for painting any vehicle that includes four robots for opening doors, two robots for opening hoods and trunks, and six new seven-axis paint robots. The new IRB 5527 with a 3.8 meter wide working area and a choice of floor, wall, or ceiling mounting has an increased working angle and can reach further than any other painting robot. In addition, all station robots are equipped with ABB's Safe Move Safety System and are suitable for collaborative work with humans. Startup Undefined Technologies announced that it was able to create an ion engine using a patented air tantrum technology capable of lifting a drone that measured 120 centimeters by 50 centimeters heat into the air. The company plans to introduce a silent drone with a vertical takeoff and landing ion engine in the near future. The video shows a drone that looks like a pilot actually flying. Previously, ion engines have not been used on Earth because of unprecedented low traction. KFC launches their own unmanned food trucks for Kentucky Fried Chicken in China. The contactless restaurants on wheels sell ready-to-eat food with no one inside the van. The company itself has yet to comment on this news. Pioneer Industrial Systems introduced a robotic unit that can be attached to any road maintenance vehicle. Although the video shows the robot only arranging and assembling cones, the company claims to have developed modules to perform various tasks, things like sealing cracks, applying paint, repairing potholes, collecting data, and more. Drones are also being introduced in Britain, although currently they are ground-based. The startup, Academy of Robotics, has released its cargo robotic drones on the road. The electric drones will deliver medicines along public roads in the Hoslow Borough of London. At first, the drones will be used under the watchful eye of operators. The cargo can travel nearly 100 kilometers on a single charge, and its engine will take three hours to fully charge. The robo-carrier is controlled by an artificial intelligence system that optimizes the route, manages the location, and dispenses of parcel containers, as well as self-learning and self-training over time to further optimize its performance. Like all robot cars, Cargo is equipped with sensors and software capable of recognizing all kinds of obstacles, from pedestrians to road work at a distance of 100 meters. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, and don't miss any new releases.